Hello, astronauts, and welcome to the craft lab. Today, we are going to be making crystal stars. So what you're going to need out of your craft kit is your borax powder. So that's that bag right here. This is a mineral, but it's also what we use for washing and things, but we're going to actually use it to make some crystals. And you're going to need a pipe cleaner, and you're going to want to try to fold it into a star shape. I found that that's kind of difficult, so if you have a cookie cutter shape like a star, star, you can use it to wrap it around. The other option is to wrap your pipe cleaner in a circle, and you can do it overlap a lot if you want. Twist it up, and then you're going to make points. Now you could make a different shape. You could leave it a circle and say it's a planet. And that would work really well too. It'd be a lot faster. But stars are really cool if you can get it to work. See how I'm just making some shapes? And then you can even them as you go. That one I need to fix a little more, but you know, we're getting there. So just keep bending and bending till you get it the shape you want. And when you're done with that, you're gonna have your adult. I'm gonna put this aside for now. Boil some water, and you're going to need about two cups. And I used a measuring cup to figure that out. And it's going to be hot, though, because it's boiled water. So you're going to have them help you with that. You're going to pour in your borax powder. And then when you're ready, what I've got here is I've got my jar. So the jar is in your craft kit, too. So is the string and the popsicle stick. And I've tied my star onto the popsicle stick. And I've lowered it into the jar so the popsicle stick's holding it up. You want to make sure, and I can't turn it because it's liquid, it would just spill out. But you want to make sure that your star isn't touching the sides too much or touching the bottom of your jar because that will make it really hard for the crystals to grow and it'll make it really hard to get your star out. And you're going to leave this for at least a day or more and then I'll come back and we'll see what we've done. Okay? Alright, I'll see you in a day. Okay, so now that it's been a day, we've got some crystals going on. You can see where there's even a film of the borax crystals on top of the water. So you're going to want to take this over the sink. You want to carefully dump out the water and then try to get your star out. Try to wiggle it out um, because you don't want to accidentally break too much of it. It's going to be a little bit hard because we did make a star and you can see how the points are now stiff and they're not so flexible. So we're going to give that a try. And I'll show you what happens once I get this out of the jar. Okay, so I pulled it out of the jar. You can see I had to bend it a little bit to get it out, so I did lose a few crystals that way as it goes. And you might find a few that come off anyway, um, but you want to let it dry as much as possible. I've got it on some paper towels. I'm gently patting it dry. And if you make a smaller star, it would be easier to get out of your jar, but you can do a full-sized one. Just know that you might accidentally end up breaking some of the crystals off like I did. You can see it's super sparkly. Look at that. And then it's even gone all the way up our string. Unfortunately, though, we have enough of our string left that we can hang this up anywhere. It might look good in a window, or you can save it for Christmas and put it on the tree. As long as you're gentle with it, it should last for a while. And you're going to find the jar that we did our experiment in. It's going to be covered in these crystals as well. So you're going to need your adult to get some hot water, and they're going to need to get it boiled and then you can clear out the crystals that way. So that more is an adult task, but look what you guys did. We did some science and we made some crystals. All right, I'll see you next time.